morning. What's up, Godre? Um, let's get started here. I'm using a brush I haven't used for some time. This is the one I call the chest piece, just because it's like elegant. Uh, this is from Mr. Sorrentino at Eric on the uh, Shaving Cadre Forum. Uh, I don't use it as much as the other ones. One at Badger, I always grab synthetic. But also, the, it's set just, just that much too deep, or uh, the knot's just that much too small. It's just this little ball. Anyway, I'm using CBL Harvest Oud. Um, my first use of this soap, actually. Um, it's not the new tonsorial formula, or it doesn't say that it is. Oh yeah, because it's premium. Right there, it's nice enough to label it for. Premium tallow. Um, but it, it's not, here let me, I'll show you. We have time, right? It's a weekend. It's not the soupy, super uh, soft stuff that's almost almost like a crope. It's, it's a harder soap. Um, but um, what I thought, oh look, it's brown. That's interesting. Um, what I thought <clears throat> without ever ordering it before was that he's got this roasted oatmeal stout. Um, that's made with, I don't know if you can read that there, made with real Guinness stout. And I don't know, I don't, I'm a, I'm a wine lover, not a beer drinker. Uh, there's some anniversary, I don't know if 100th Guinness anniversary, 50th, something like that, but they had some anniversary stout from Guinness that he used to make that soap. He only had so much of it. Um, so my understanding was is that when it was gone, it was gone. He made comment that it will be released again. Um, so he must just be doing it with some other stout, not the special anniversary, whatever, Guinness stuff. Um, but I had kind of thought the Harvest Oud was his replacement for that, and they would smell very similar. It just wouldn't be made with that special stout. It would be made with something else. Um, not the same soap. Um, it says, and, and I wish, I haven't even paid attention. All those other tubs are back in the other room. Um, this one, I guess the name is self-explanatory what it is. This one, he put the, the scent notes right there. I love it when they put the scent notes on the tub because I can't remember stuff. Um, Harvest Oud, you could probably remember. Roasted Oatmeal Stout, you get that one. But, you know, other ones that uh, people could think of as having different definitions just based on the name. It's nice to have it right there. Um, anywho. Um, they're not the same. Uh, roasted oatmeal stout. Just what it sounds like. Yeah, well, not not just what it sounds like. Um, there is no stout smell. That was my big concern when it came out. Is I do not want to smell beer or hops or any of that stuff. And you don't. So it's interesting since it's in the name. It just goes. To refer to an ingredient versus a scent note. Um, getting this all over. See the, it's kind of, this handle's a little short and the head's a little short and I'm kind of, I'm all up in it. Um, it smells like oatmeal cookies. 100% oatmeal cookies, roasted oatmeal stuff. This one, they got a, this is, Eric, I know, we're jumping all over the place here. Eric, Mr. Sorrentino, you, I was saying you gotta see one of these in person, but unless you've got one, you can't. He's not making brushes right now. Look, my, my lather's a little thin. We're all cattywampus today. Um, anyway, he uses uh, super glue, that uh, whatever the chemical name of super glue is on his finish. So it's super smooth, super hard, super. You look at that shine on that thing. Um, so of course, in a shape like this. You can see it's a little, it needs to be just a little longer for me to get, get my mitts on it. I'm kind of using fingertips, but, um, 
when it gets some soap on it, it gets just gets super slippery. I don't know what's going. Look at this. We're even lose, losing lather. This does not happen. All right, so this is the one thing I have with the original formula. So I'm always afraid to add too much water. I'm gonna add more water. We're just gonna see what happens. Um, it's usually not like this though. Um, it's very rare where. I think only once or twice maybe I've ever, ever bailed on a lather and started using something else, but uh, I also don't get soap disappearing. So we'll just go for it. Interesting though, I mean, look at that. I'm sure it's just me though. Other guys have used this stuff and haven't had this issue, so. I just got off on the wrong foot or something this morning. Um, didn't grab my razor. Going with the vector. I'm still. I was still talking about the scent. Roasted oatmeal stout, oatmeal cookies, straight up. Harvest oud. That it's supposed to be pumpkin and oud. Thankfully, it also is not just. I would say it's not just pumpkin, but I don't I don't know what pumpkin smells like. I mean, when you, I guess, when you're like carving a pumpkin, there's not a whole lot of scent to it. I guess it does. And it's been forever since I smelled canned pumpkin. I would say though, it does relate to pumpkin pie in that you get the baking spices. So I'll go with pumpkin pie. Um, I kind of think that canned pumpkin smells mostly like pumpkin pie when it comes out. I don't remember. But anyway, it is. The scent is stronger than roasted oatmeal stout. It has more of the clove uh, baking spices, man. I am just, there's some, somebody never commented on my videos before. I don't know if he just started watching, but one of my past videos, <laughs> the comment like, your lather could be better. I have no doubt. I'm not the lather master. I don't edit my videos. Here you go. This is not the best display of lather. I think part of it also is this brush. It just is not opening up and probably isn't whipping it up well. So see, that looks fine after I squished it all out of the brush. So maybe it's more the brushes giving me issues. Anyway, until I get sponsored by There's Lemon, I'm not gonna edit this or worry about subpar shades being broadcast across the country, across the world, we're worldwide. So I hope if you're watching this, uh, you saw my video where I showed you my new travel shave kit. That was more done kind of tongue in cheek. It wasn't, didn't have the production value I was hoping for. I was thinking of doing it without any voice and all sorts of titles explaining what's what. And, but uh, one, I don't know how to do that. And two, I'm kind of impatient. I mean, I figured that I could learn to look quickly on uh, iMovie on my phone, which is where all my movies come from. And um, also YouTube Studio. And neither one of them looked like you could really do much other than splicing your video and stuff like that. I didn't see a place for adding like titles and stuff on the screen, so. We got what we got. Anyway, yeah, it's totally impractical. Um, it's just, I think it came up when uh, Major Rich was taking his cruise. Man, that seems like a long time ago, right, Rich? Hope you've got future vacations in the planning already. We're planners. We, uh, we've got, what is this? is 
we're looking uh, next week is Thanksgiving, <laughs> which is hilarious because I said we're planners. I didn't realize Thanksgiving was next week uh, until like uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. And then I kind of freaked out because I'm cooking dinner. So being a planning kind of person and the lather's going all over the place. This is just too, too soupy. Sorry, Mr. CBL. You're not good representation, I think, of your product. Although the smell, off the hook. I like the strength. Um, you know me, you could always crank it up a little bit. I'd say the strength is probably eight. It's nice and good. I love the smell and the strength. Uh, anywho, what I was kind of getting to is that we're planners, so we already have this summer's trip uh, months ago. We had uh, reservations where we're staying, plane tickets bought. We have next summer's trip planned in our heads. Uh, some things you can't reserve that far ahead of time, so we have to wait. Anyway, when he's going on his cruise, we were talking about uh, stuff he would take shaving and how he's going to be in a room and there's no reason to restrict what he what kind of stuff he takes because i think he even drove down to where he took the ship i was like hey, just take a take everything you use at home but um then i thought how cool would that be you putting the cruise together with travel and all the stuff that you know they used to take big steamer trunks my parents have this awesome one that you like stand it up and the door opens and there's drawers that pull out and like a little thing that slides out like a wooden stick almost that you would hang your hanging clothes on while you're in your room and anyway you know we used to travel like that so I thought put that thought together with you know you can get like uh not suitcases uh but the uh briefcases that you open up and they have like a train set inside or like a martini set or something. How cool would that be to have like a metal briefcase, you open it up and pfft, there's all your shaving gear. So I've been thinking about that ever since. So I did it. It's not practical at all. Um, it takes up a heck of a lot more space making it all pretty like that than if you just did throw it in your dop or even, you know, a smaller bag or whatever. Um, you can't carry it on the plane. Um, if I'm checking luggage, I wouldn't put that in my suitcase because it's just much bigger. It takes up way more space than you need. So really, it's just if you're driving somewhere. But um, so right now, my plan is we're going uh, back to see family in Oregon for Christmas. I'll take it with us because we drive up there. It's like a 10, 11 hour drive. But, um, but it's also Christmas time and we pack the SUV with our luggage plus presents. So it actually, we've gotten to where we just barely have enough space. So we'll see if we get to that point, I won't. But it was just kind of got, got it off my mind. I kept thinking about how, how funny, how neat it would look. Um, so whoops, I rinsed out my bowl without doing my alum. And now I can't find, uh oh. So in doing that video, I took the alum that I usually use and put it in there because it was half used. I thought, well, I'll make this my travel one, but I have a new one. I took the wrapper off, but it must be out there as part of the video process. So this will be the first time in a very long time that I'm not doing alum after a shave. We'll probably survive. It's nice and slick. This feel, you see that? Super slick. Super. I saw I did have a little weeper down there where I had one the last time I was on video. But um, I guess we won't evaluate it with the sting. We'll just, the there's lemon. Good, not bad. Super BBS. We're good to go. I don't know what scent I'm going to mix with this. I do. Luckily, this is kind of my wheelhouse. Um, I do have several scents 
that I would say are baking spice-esque. Um, probably my first one, we're gonna go with this guy here. Um, I don't think I've been able to look it up. It's Nameless by Mark Jacobs. Um, anyway, we got this, ironically, a few years ago, we were out of town for Thanksgiving and uh, stumbled upon a very nice fragrance shop. Tons of stuff to try, nobody else in there, like I think it was the day before Thanksgiving. Maybe the day after, anyway. Found it there, never heard of it, it smells lovely. We'll finish up with that. Before that, a little bit of Nivea 2 and one So the rest of the weekend, I gotta finish up uh, Dave from Kentucky's video. He went a little longer than usual, Dave. I uh, started a little later, so I've only gotten through half of it so far. Finish that up. We've got to do the planning and purchasing for Thanksgiving. And I don't know what else. Anyway, there we go. Hope you check out that other video and find it fun. And we'll see you on the forums.